Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Eric has a challenge for himself. He wants to find out if his desk at school is longer than his desk at home. His plan is to use paper clips that are all the same size to measure the length of his desk at school. What do you say we help him out? First, let's guess how many paper clips long his desk is. The paper clips look pretty small to me, so I would guess about 30 paper clips long. Okay, now let's watch Eric measure the desk. Eric laid down 15 paper clips from one end of the desk to the other. So he says that the desk is 15 paper clips long. Hmm, do you agree with him? Look carefully. Aha, uh -huh. there are gaps between the paper clips. And that means that Eric didn't measure these parts of the desk, the parts between the paper clips. So how can he fix his mistake? Well, he should try again and make sure not to leave any gaps between the other paper clips. The paper clips should touch each other, but they should not overlap. Okay, let's see how Eric did this time. Pretty good, he didn't leave any gaps. And now the desk seems to be 22 paper clips long. Huh, is he right this time? Well, let's take a closer look and... Hmm, do you notice the line of paper clips didn't start from the edge of the desk? Well, that means he didn't measure this part of the desk. The line of paper clips stopped before it got to the other edge of the desk too. Oops, how can Eric fix his mistake? Maybe he should try again and remember to measure from edge to edge. All right, let's see. It looks like he got it right this time. And now he says the desk is 24 paper clips long. But let's check his work. Now the paper clips are all in a straight line and they all touch each other without overlapping. The line starts from one edge and stops at the other edge. Looks good. So now we know the desk is 24 paper clips long. Good job helping Eric measure his desk. Uh, by the way, was the answer close to our guess? Uh, we guessed 30 and the answer was 24. Not too bad, we weren't so far off. Eric learned a lot about measuring correctly by looking at all the things he needed to change when measuring his desk. And now he wants to measure the length of his desk again, but this time, he wants to use pencils. Huh, but his sharpened pencils are all different sizes, so he can't use those. Whatever we want to measure something with is called a unit, and it has to be the same size. We can measure with paper clips or Legos or inches or markers by whatever unit we choose, but they all have to be the same size. And would you look at that? Eric is going to use unsharpened pencils from the box because this time they're all the same size. Now an unsharpened pencil is longer than a paperclip. So do you think that the desk will also be 24 pencils long? Well, probably not because our units are much larger now. Well, how long do you think it'll be? Let's start measuring and find out. Ah, good. Eric remembered to put the pencils in a straight line from one edge of the desk to the other edge of the desk. And he also knows that he can't leave any gaps this time. Now let's count the pencils to find the length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The desk is exactly nine pencils long. Did you guess correctly? Nice. But look, we were right. We definitely used fewer pencils than paper clips to measure the desk. Now, why is that? Well, take a look at how much longer this unit is than that unit. The pencils are much longer, so we don't need as many of them to get all the way across the desk. Now, finally, Eric wants to measure his desk using a different unit, notebooks. He's only going to use the long side of the notebooks. Now a notebook is longer than a pencil. So what do you think? Well, we need more than nine notebooks or fewer than nine notebooks. If you said fewer, you're right. And I'm gonna guess that he needs five notebooks. What do you think? Okay, Eric is starting to measure. 
And he puts the first notebook right along the edge of the desk. Good. And the next notebook is touching the first one. And look, he keeps laying them down one by one until he gets to the other edge of the desk. And how long is it? One, two, three, four. The desk is four notebooks long. Was that close to your guess? It was close to mine. Wow. Today, we helped Eric to measure the length of his desk using paper clips, unsharpened pencils, and notebooks. And we learned some important rules when measuring. The unit used for measuring must be all the same size, like paper clips or unsharpened pencils. We now know that we need to lay them down in a straight line from one edge of the object we're measuring all the way to the other. And the units should touch each other without overlapping. If we use big units like a notebook, we're going to need fewer of them. And if we use small units like paper clips, we'll need more of them. Great job measuring today. Eric is going to measure the length of his desk at home to see if it's longer or shorter. And you can try this yourself at home or at school by measuring with paper clips and unsharpened pencils too. Is your desk longer or shorter than Eric's? Let me know at our next Mighty Encounter.